Welcome for this session. Remember, uh, last time we had discussed about uh, osmoregulation, uh, lesson uh, two. Today we are going to discuss uh, about kidney dialysis and kidney transplants, which is our lesson three. Um, so now let us start. Uh, I hope it is not for your first time to hear the diasis, kidney diasis. So, uh, as you can see here, uh, basically what you call a diasis is a medical procedure in which blood is filtered with the help of machine. So that's why here you can see the machine. I will explain how this machine works. But in brief, uh, what you call uh, kidney dialysis is a medical procedure in which blood is filtered with the help of a machine. So uh, here is now we are going to follow how uh, basically this ma machine is used to filter the blood before they give the, the filtered blood to the patient. So now. Uh, here they are saying blood from the patient's vein enters the dialysis machine through the tomb. Uh, inside the machine, excess water, wastes, and other uh, unneeded substances are filtered from the blood. So, uh, which means uh, here, uh, what has to be filtered number one you have had with the help of this machine there is excess water again here waste and other unneeded substances so these are basically the substances they have to be filtered within this machine uh, diasis and after all that so what is what the what is the next step here they just take the filtered blood and again they make sure that this filtered blood it has to be returned back to the patient's vein through another tomb so which means when you observe from the uh, machine you will find that it has uh, two tubes it is connected to the two tubes now uh, here uh, you have, now this is the tube and again this is the second tube so now the first tube here uh, blood removed from for cleaning as you can see this is number one and again downward there this is dialyzer and again kidney blood returned to the body so which means this is two this is tube two and again, you see how now the blood which has been filtered is returning back to the vein. To the vein. So in brief, that is how it works. And again, they say a diasis treatment usually lasts uh, three to four hours and must be repeated three times a week. So now you have heard much as uh, it just helped the the the, 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 the pe people the patients to stay longer but it still does not cure the disease and again diasis is generally performed on patients who have kidney failure you have heard that one so uh, basically people who have the kidney failure are the ones where this kind of procedure is applied so what does here they are saying uh, diasis uh, helps them uh, stay alive but it does not cure their failing kidneys so basically that is how uh, it works mm, again uh, moving to the next part we are done with the kidney diasis so let us now move to the kidney transplants kidney transplants again it is not for your first time and sometimes performed on people who suffer from um, severe renal failure. So uh, what you call the renal failure? Again, renal, you understand, kidney tube. 
So if there is a kind of uh, disorder in the kidney tube, sometimes they do kidney transplants. So uh, what do doctors do here? There are two people. One, uh, it requires a donor and again the recipient. So what they do here, the donor has suffered an accidental death or had granted the permission to have his or her kidneys used for transplantation. So basically, if they wanted to extract the kidney, they get it from that person whom we call a donor, but again, who has experienced accidental at the point of death. Or sometimes uh, people, they can also decide to give their kidney, it is possible. So another uh, point here, what they do, they have to make sure that uh, the immune system or the immune characteristics of the donor and the recipient, they have to match. Because if they are not matching, there is a tendency of rejection. Okay, You could find the immune system of the recipient, they have so many chances to reject the immune system of the donor. So that's why they have to make sure that now matching is there. Uh, even with the careful matching, however, recipients have to take medication for the rest of their lives to suppress their immune system so that rejection is less likely, you know. So now after the recipient uh, receives the kidney, again, the recipient has to be on medication so that with the time they don't want the immune system of the recipient to suppress the, their immune, the, what the drug does here is to make sure that the drug has to suppress the immune system of the recipient so that the rejection is less likely. The major cause of kidney transplant uh, failure is the rejection by the recipient's immune system. Please, now you have heard the point is zeroing on the recipient's immune system. Here, that's where they pay much attention. In most cases, the transplanted the kidney functions well and the tendency for the recipient's immune system to reject the transplanted uh, kidney can be controlled. This one can be controlled because you have heard uh, the recipient has to be on medication so that now the drugs here they can suppress the immune system of the recipient so that now there is no more rejection. Let us also move to uh, advantage and disadvantage of kidney transplants. Uh, one of advantage here, the patient can return to the normal lifestyle. Uh, dialysis may require length cessation in hospital. You have had uh, three times a week. You see, it is not good uh, leaving the patient very tired after each session the diocese machine will be available for other patients to use. So which means once it is applied to one person who is having uh, the problem of kidney failure, again, they have to use this machine for other people. Um, so here are some of the disadvantages. Again, um, transplants require a suitable donor. It requires a suitable donor with a good tissue match. The donor may be from a dead person, you have heard that one, or from a close living relative who is prepared to donate a healthy kidney. We can survive with one kidney. So much as you have heard these two procedures and again how they treat these problems of kidney failures, but still there is a tendency for us to survive uh, with one kidney. So all operations which are being done here is very expensive. It requires money. Uh, again, another disadvantage, there is high risk of rejection of donated kidney. Immunosuppressive drugs have to be used. Why? I've heard once that person donates his or her kidney to the recipient, still the doctors, they have to ensure that the recipient has to be on medication so that now the drugs they can suppress the immune system of the recipient to reduce the rejection. Uh, transplants 
are not accepted by some regions. You know, there are some regions, uh, basically according to their beliefs and what, they don't accept all these two procedures. So uh, basically that is it all about uh, kidney diasis and the transplantation.